Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. The YHPA has everything we need to manage the endocrine system. Connections to the nervous system, hypophysial portal system, plus tiny solo cups of water and neon colors. Today, we're working out the anterior pituitary, the front of the pituitary gland. So it makes sense we're here in the entrance room of the YHPA. Let's check in. Below the hypothalamus, check. Sometimes called the hypophysis, check. Anterior portion covered in the hypophysial portal system, check. Awkwardly scrotum shaped, check. The anterior pituitary produces and releases seven hormones. There's a common mnemonic for these, flat peg. Four tropic hormones for flat, FSH, LH, ACTH, and TSH. Then three direct hormones for peg, prolactin, endorphins, and growth hormone. Tropic hormones stimulate endocrine glands to signal the release of another hormone. Many of these come from the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. Make sure to look out for words like releasing in hypothalamic hormone names and stimulating in anterior pituitary hormone names. They're dead giveaways that the hormone is tropic. On the other gland, direct hormones target non-endocrine tissues. We'll start by summarizing the anterior pituitary's tropic hormones and their associated hypothalamic hormones. Then we'll get into more detail on direct hormones, which is why we're starting here on the tropical, or shall we say tropical, side of the room. First is GNRH. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone comes from the hypothalamus and signals the anterior pituitary to synthesize two stimulating hormones. This gardener's hardware worker wearing a hypo-size visor reminds us that GNRH is made by the hypothalamus. GNRH signals the anterior pituitary to make follicle-stimulating hormone. FSH signals gonads to prepare gametes for reproduction. This initiates follicle maturation in ovaries and spermatogenesis in testes. We've represented FSH with fertilizer priming this tropical palm to produce a spermy pair of scrokinuts. Second, GNRH stimulates LH. Luteinizing hormone also signals the gonads. It causes ovulation in ovaries and testosterone production in testes. That palm is really thriving. With FSH fertilizer and an LH grow light, this tree is going to produce a world-class pair of scrokinuts.